Hello from beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. This is Deanna Durrell, your spiritual mentor and intuitive relationship coach. And in this video, I want to address one little caveat when it comes to making a gratitude list. So this actually came from a woman in Oakland, California, and she shared with me, Deanna, I'm making my, my gratitude list about all of the things that I'm grateful for that men have you know, gifted me or given me in the past. She was really doing a relationship clear out, which was a great idea. But she found herself getting stuck um, when she would write things down like, I'm so grateful that he gave me flowers, but I wish that they were real flowers and not fake flowers. Or I'm really grateful that, um, you know, he took me to go dancing, but I really would have preferred salsa dancing instead of swing dancing, right? So there was always a but and then something that she would have preferred. And she said, I, I feel like I'm not doing this right. I feel like there's some resistance there. What should I do? And it's a great question. Um, and so here is the, the invitation. When you are making a gratitude list, whether it's for relationships, your business, your you know fabulous home that you're manifesting, um, it's really important to have two lists, right? There's the gratitude itself, so the things that were given to you in the past that you really appreciated, and then what I want to call the desire list, right? So it's not about saying, I really would have preferred real flowers to fake flowers. Now you know that getting real flowers from a man is important to you, so it's going to go on your desire list fresh flowers, right? It doesn't negate the good thing that happened, but it's also bringing to your attention what it is that you really want and what gets you feeling the most aligned. So after you do that, so step one is to make the list of things you're grateful for in a certain area of your life as they showed up. Step two is to fine tune it. If there's any but I wish, put it in your desire column. And then finally, step three is to look at your desire column and pick the one that is closest to your heart, the one that every time you look at it gets your, you know, your juices going, your angel goosebumps going, and find out how you can gift that to yourself. If it's fresh flowers, buy yourself flowers um, or ask somebody to buy you flowers, you know, be bold. As you activate your desires, you empower yourself, and as you activate your gratitude, you raise your energy. So it can only help you to bring in more of the things that are really going to bring you joy and less of the things that don't. That is it. Now my question goes over to you. What is either one thing that you're grateful for in your life or one desire that came out of this exercise? Share with us in the comments below. And if you're not on the newsletter, you can join for free. I share a free manifesting audio to help you bring miracles and love and money and joy into your life. All you have to do is pop in your email to the link below. And finally, what are you doing later this month? Would you like to learn how to create a five-star life? What I mean by that is a life of your own making, right? Your dreams are fulfilled. You're living the lifestyle that you want. If that sounds good, join me on August 25th for five roadblocks to your five-star life. Thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.